right side past some of you op optional extras, um, which is awesome. So followers, here's the one for you. We can think about doing like a corkscrew turn to make it a bit tighter. And this is something you could add um, into your basic, like every time you do it, or you could do it as a, as a stylistic choice. Hmm, I want to add this now. I feel this song is giving me this little push to some good flavour. So um, here's a, here's, here it is what it looks like. So just to show it to you first, we're going to go and the one, and the two, three, and the four, five, and the six, and the one, and the two, three, and the four. Five and the six. It's quite a tight space here, but I'm trying to show you again. If I go too far, I end up hitting this wall. So, <laughs> and that's it. So, follow it. How, what that looks like is, and it's more like a, a, a sharp turn around the spot. So, we're going to go together. We're going to go and a one and a two. So, I'm going to step out in front, and now I'm going to rotate like as I push that foot down, the other one crosses, and then I step backwards. For my four as usual, and you go five and a six again, and a one and a two, three. So now, as I dig this into the ground, I'm turning, the other foot comes and crosses, and then come back for four, five and a six again. It's a one and a two, three and a four, five and a six. And now, leaders, for you, uh, for the right side pass, another option you can do is to go back twice. Now, why would you do this? Well, I, I say that when you, we have different ways of doing things in West Coast Swing, you might choose certain ways because you have a reason to choose so. So if you have a follower, for example, that's super fast, like on the one, two, your follower, they're already so far towards you. If you were to do normal right side pass for one and the two, you've gone towards them, and they're really like, Almost like passing them. So what you could do to manage the situation is to go back on one and then back on two and then everything else will be as we know. This will help to kind of slow it down a bit and be a bit smoother. To show you again, it's and a one and a two, three and four, five and a six and a one, two and three and four, five and a six. So that's a nice one you could use as well. Uh, we might just do it in general, just add a bit of change as well. Uh, if you want to do some walks, sometimes if you want to add walks, you might do a right side pass and now invite your follower to join you for some walks or some grooves. You might even go for a one and a two and then go for some nice slides, some glides, into the pillar. Uh, so that's another option you could do there with that, uh, going back on one and two. And followers, what you could do as well is rather than doing your triple step, you can go and one and two. So you can go and a one and a two and three and four and five and six. So there's other options. Yeah, so one and a two and three and four and five and a six. So we have the extra weight transfers, it makes it a bit more punchy as well. Could be good if you have a blue song. Uh, which has the more secret, more staccato rhythm, uh, which is obviously swung as well, which is for another video in the future. So just from this side, I'm going to go forwards for one, going to go forwards for two. Now what I'm going to do is put my foot, cross it over, keep those shins touching for three and a four and five and a six. So it's one, two and three and four. Five, six. So you do like the walk, walk at the end. So it's one and the two. You're going to cross the foot in front, close, bring that one back out again. Do a normal cross on you as you do on your pass, and then you can do a walk, walk at the end for walk, walk. Again, so from here we're going to go and uh, one and the two. I like to bring those hips as well. We can move those hips, close the foot, step out to the, to the front. Cross in front and you do your walk walk. You can also have an extra weight transfer and then triple step. Let me show you there. So you can go and a one and a two. Now you do the same and four and five and a six. So there we go. There's some nice transfer. Uh, wait, there's some nice options that you can add. And uh, yeah, I think it uh, has to add some nice dynamics to the dance. It feels change of speed there, more staccato. You can have a nice look.